Starting as a mission to restore the true meaning of Memorial Day this year, they're honoring our nation's heroes with a month-long 15,000-mile national relay. And this morning, we have Carry the Load Ambassador Brian Marin sharing with how everyone can get involved in this. Good morning to you, Brian. Glad, to ha glad you're on our show here. And, and this is great because we're catching you in the middle of this. Tell us where you're walking to and which leg you are on here in San Diego. So this is the first leg today in San Diego of the overall West Coast part of the relay. Relays in West Coast, there's Mountain, there's Midwest, and there's the East Coast. But today we got started here in San Diego. We're actually walking up to the Miramar National Cemetery right now as we speak. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Carry the Load and why it's so significant and why you got involved. So Carry the Load started about 10 years ago by a couple of former SEALs, Clint Bruce and Stephen Holly. And they kind of just wanted to bring back the true meaning of Memorial Day, what it was all about. You know, they're kind of hanging out at barbecues all the time and people were partying up and they wasn't really getting back to what it was really all about. So that's how it started. And the whole concept of carry the load is how we, we have to carry each other weight sometimes, right? So, so what, what's that? We're all carrying someone in our life that maybe sacrificed for something greater. That's what we're trying to remember today. So uh, like today, I'm carrying my friend Tyler uh, Buse, all time blue. Uh, who was a um, reconnaissance green and unfortunately uh, lost his battle uh, you know, last year and committed suicide. So this is my way of honoring him and remembering him and, and bringing the lessons of the past through. Wow, incredible. Um, this has obviously had a big impact on a lot of people, um, yourself included. Um, what do you want people to know about that impact, how it's impacted your life? Well, one, it, you, there's a network of people out there. And if you think of the, the term, even just the name of carry the load, you know, Eric, there's going to be times when, when I'm going to be a little bit stronger than you and I can help carry your load and, and help you out. And then there's going to be times when in certain situations where you're going to be a lot stronger than me and you're going to have to help me carry that load. And that's kind of what it's all about. We're a community and we're as a country, we need to get together. And I think what we've learned over the last year is that we all miss that human connection. We really need it. Yeah, we're seeing uh, pictures on the on the backpacks as uh, in some of these walks, some of these uh, um, events here. Um, is this is, is you guys are doing the walk right now? Is it too late for people to get involved in this, or, or how can they in the near future? How, how, can, how can they be part of this effort? If you're not doing anything today and want to come out, just head to the website and carry the load. Uh, they want you to register just for for COVID reasons and protocols and safety and all that stuff, so you get the warning and everything. Um, but we have all kinds of events going on. You're going to be at Rosecrans National Cemetery later as well and a whole bunch of different areas where you can come out, walk along, show your support and uh, be part of the team. So uh, you're carrying blue, right? I mean, you broke up a little bit last yep. time. We were talking a little bit about blue. Tell us a little bit more about him and, and why, why he's so significant in your life. So Tyler was a friend of mine. I actually, we, I also served in the Marine Corps. I didn't serve with him. We met later on when we were both working together. And Tyler's an incredible guy. He's a uh, incredible husband and, and father of two young boys. And he was dealing with mental health struggles that he wasn't getting help for, and none of us knew it. And so he ended up killing himself over that. And, you know, we have to be good to each other and take care of each other. So it was a huge impact on my life. Unfortunately, it's not the first one of my friends who's done that. Uh, so I'm here to help raise awareness about that. Uh, it's not just the sacrifices don't end on the battlefield. Sometimes that continues at home, too. And so that's part of why uh, I'm walking for Blue today. We're remembering Blue. We are honoring Blue here as we approach Memorial Day. Brian, thanks so much for your time. You can go to carrytheload.org to learn more about your incredible efforts there. As you're approaching Miramar, not too far away at this point, right? We're approaching Miramar. We've got the bus out here. And uh, so you'll see this bus in San Diego. That's us. That's carry the load. Honk, wave, come on, stop by, <laughs> say hello. And we'd love to have you out. Yeah, and come walk with them. Yeah, for sure. All right. Thanks so much for your time, Brian. And uh, congratulations Thanks. on the great effort you're doing there. And you're helping out a lot of people and raising a lot of great awareness for this. Thank you, Eric. We really appreciate uh, you letting me come on here. Enjoy the walk. And best to you and right, everyone thanks. else that's out there.